Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so that will be Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading for April 19th, uh, 29th, excuse me, to uh, May 5th, 2019. And just a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we can go directly to the uh, weekly tarot spread here. So, um... all right. So that being said, the uh, first card for Cancer, which is the topic of their week, that is going to be the Six of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the Challenges for Cancer for throughout the week, that is going to be the Nine of Wands. The third card, this is going to be the uh, Positivity out of the week, or what Cancer can go for, you know, like aims, intentions, and so on and so forth. We do have the five of uh, wands and the last card, which is the guidance that uh, Taro is giving to Cancer. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So once again, uh, six of swords is the first one, followed by the second, which is the nine of wands. Third card for Cancer, that is to be the five of wands. And the last one that we do have, we do have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So, uh, Cancer, uh, it looks like that uh, this week is going to be quite active, first of all, uh, from your behalf. Uh, now, the only danger that I see here uh, is that you may a little bit prematurely jump into things, you know, instead of uh, taking rather more meticulous preparations for them. And that is because of the thrill itself by looking at these cards, because um, for some of you or for the majority of you, you are going to have that a, a, a window of opening, a window, a window of, on, op, of opportunity for you to kind of like improve the circumstances either into career and relationship. And you would want the thing to happen as, as fast as possible and you would not want to waste any time you know into preparation or you can feel yourself prepared enough you know to um execute the thing or rather like uh, take advantage of the opportunity itself however that may not be the case i mean you may not find yourself as prepared as you think you are so the first card here which is the general topic of the week is the six of wands and it is exactly about that threshold we're talking about here conquering new shores and sitting like i said on the threshold on the verge of a new enterprise sorry um you know, um, a new shores want to conquer. Now, the thing with the Six of Swords, like in many readings that I'm saying, is that this card usually is accompanied with a fear, fear of insecurity, and as well fear of um, of the probably things, the thing that you are to chase for throughout the week, either a person, career goal, or so on and so forth. It may not worth it. Now. Usually these fears which are accompanied here with the Six of Swords are rather futile. So uh, in reality, uh, whatever you do, you are to improve your circumstances no matter what you do in the direction of where the, um, the change or the threshold appears and manifests itself. The accompanied card, this is going to be the Sun. So formation is a active, uh, active supporters. And the sun here points that this is the natural path that you should go forward. <clears throat> and as well, it does point that this direction of yours, which it's fearful of your behalf to take on, 
it kind of offers you a lot of room to grow to grow as a uh, sun card does represent expanding energies of growth additionally to that the sun card it is a, a sign of almost you know secured success being that there is almost no way how you could fail in this uh, in this endeavor either starting a new relationship project or a uh, career path or just you know taking on some um enterprises which appear new to you and you may not be uh, quite confident that you will be able to execute them uh, quite well but uh, as soon as you uh, start doing what is necessary you know to execute those enterprises you will kind of like uh, get the hang of it pretty, pretty fast and you are to see that the initial fear it was nothing but just the uh, you know self-imposed fear uh, created by your uh, own personal uh, insecurity that you can you know actually make the things uh, happen so uh, the uh, negative card here or rather like what is the challenge that will be the nine of wands and like I said your jump forward could be uh, rather a bit premature just to give you an example of that so uh, let's say that you finally have that window of opportunity, window of opening, you know, to start uh, like dating with the person you're always dreamed of. All right. And you may jump into it a little bit premature, not kind of like making your homework in the sense of that getting to know that person a little bit better, asking about them, you know, asking about their, what they like. Um, reconnoitering for example what type of activities you know they prefer to contribute and so on and so forth now the night the nine of wands in this position is rather more on the positive end it, because it does point that you are almost on the uh, finish line all right but before you go through the finish line there are some things that you need to take under consideration and if you don't do so you know if you're not patient enough and if you <clears throat> don't wait for a bit you know to gather up your strengths your thought your strength excuse me your thought and to make up your strategy as uh, as best as possible you may charge in for, uh, instead of toward success toward your uh, personal uh, destruction or the destruction of the uh, the enterprise itself so guys just hold your horses a little bit as soon as you know that uh, that window of opportunity opens for you and just think carefully you know what is the best way you can um, you can take advantage or capitalize on the situation and as soon as you do so uh, I have no doubts whatsoever that uh, the best way you can do is going to become obvious to you just don't don't rush it the accompanied card here that will be the temperance and nothing more that i can say really uh with this combo because it is in an active uh, friends and the temperance also uh, only adds a more solidity to my statement that you should adopt a rather balanced approach than a um, extreme approach where you uh, face hyperactivity, like I said, you know, and you, you want the things to happen as fast as possible and so on and so forth. It is because the temperance is always about uh, obtaining the middle road, you know, the middle path without making any extreme um taking any extreme actions or rather adopting any extreme measures and as well the temperance points that you should uh, be more compassionate you may find yourself be uh, being challenged to be compassionate or you may find it difficult for yourself to be compassionate toward the situation straight away an example that comes to my mind is that if for example someone um you are attracted to or you know and you make a quite solid move toward them they tell you you know i i need a little bit of time to think about it instead of giving them the time being compassionate and, and showing a, a side of solidarity to press them even further uh, the, thir the third card, which is the positivity uh, out of the week, that is going to be the Five of Wands. Five of, Soul, five of Wands is one of, uh, according to my beliefs at least, guys, it is one of the best cards that can fall into a, a positive uh, position. It is because Five of Wands is the card pointing that one can traverse failure into success. So if 
some of your situations, regardless where that situation is manifested at, is going downhill. Well, maybe this week things are going to change and that downhill is going to be traversed into a, an uphill through a sudden around turns, through a surprising event, that window of opportunity, which I said, because then the five of wands as a manifestation of an, an event, it does represent these unexpected surprises which one can capitalize on that are going to give them an edge over uh, a situation. But five of wands as well, sometimes that does represent a little bit of a clashes of an ideas, all right? And one should not strain from those clashes, but rather contribute into them because from those confrontations and clashes of an idea, one can extract a, a very valuable insights and an information as well. The accompanied card that is going to be the Tree of Swords, and we're definitely talking about a, a transforming failure into success here. It is kind of like a huge drop of blockage and uh, you cancers now finally will be able to uh, push forward with a certain enterprise on an activity that until this very moment was either a colossal failure or there were problems all along the all along the path too many problems want to hustle to uh, attend to this uh, either relationship job or, or or a project you know it's just it was too much hassle for you to um to care for that thing or to, you know, to involve yourself with it. But now those problems uh, are not going to be in present anymore. Those obstacles will no longer be in place. And therefore, that is your window of opportunity where you kind of like uh, exert your uh, yourself into it into either dating that person or taking uh, this project and becoming successful into it. The only thing, like I said, that can, um, the only couple of things that, that I said that can uh, truly deprive you from um, improving, dram improving dramatically your circumstances are your fear and not acting at all on that window of opportunity and uh, as well, the um the premature actions also so you need to find that sweet spot uh where you are prepared enough you know to um tackle with whatever comes after you take advantage of uh, this window of opportunity uh and as well be courageous enough to uh not bail out of it and the uh guidance here that taro offers you this is the knight of uh, pentacles and that is more like, uh, I cannot say like a warning, you know, but like uh, it appears as a statement over, over something that you uh, want to think about. And the Knight of uh, Pentacles asks, kind of urges you to ask yourself, is that what you are after? It's really what you want. And while you are preparing your strategy, you may want to take the time as well to answer to your question for yourself. Because for some, you may find out that it is not one that it is not what uh, you you want in in uh, in reality. What you are after it is not what you truly want, and so on and so forth. You know, for some, it could be what you want. The thing is that this card is a sign here that the whole endeavor is gonna take crap a lot of time, and uh, it will exhaust a lot of your energy. Yeah, you are gonna bear. Uh, results at the end. I mean, the results are going to be quite justified, you know, but uh, it does depend what you want because, you know, you you can earn a lot from it, but if what you are earning is not what you are expecting, then it's, it was not really worth it. So yeah, that, that is something you want to think over or think about. So uh, the accompanied card here, this is going to be the star card. The formation is a passive enemies. And it does look like that uh, you will have to bear with it alone. I mean, you will not going to have this uh, support from people that you may usually be used to. And as well, uh, there won't be any to empathize um, on on you and on and on your endeavor, meaning that you ain't, you ain't going to face a uh, emotional support nor understanding from others by you pushing forward with your uh, endeavor. But does that really matter if you are happy after what you uh, 
if you achieve what you are after, then really you should not care about what others think. And uh, finally, to give you an example of that, you know, maybe that window of opportunity for you to push on a, a project that have been set on hold because there were too many problems surrounding it. It, it, um, it comes around, you know, that opportunity comes around and everybody is urging you not to do so, not to revive the project, but you know that this is what you want, all right? And um, regardless of others' opinion, you revive it and you are feeling happy working upon it and so on and so forth. That could be the case uh, with you cancer. So it could be that, um, you know, your relationship is going downhill and it is almost at the verge of breaking, but you have that window of opportunity to uh, re resuscitate your relationship. Everybody is urging you not to do so, but if that relationship is what you want, then you definitely have to go for it. So uh, that was your um, weekly tarot reading for May uh, 29th, uh, April 29th, Cancer to May 5th. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.